we have been breaking God's commandments, and that's the reason why we're in the condition we in now. That's right. We don't know the laws of God. You know? Oh, uh, we don't know the we don't know the laws of God. Read that, yeah, one four. Give me give me Romans 13 and 10. Bring it out, huh? Yeah, so read that. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. So if we was if we was doing this one law, the brother came up and had a question and said, why why we committing black on black crime? Read that from the top again. Romans chapter 13 and verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. That's why we committing black on black crime, because we have no love in our community. That's right. Our people don't have love for one another. They hate and despise and envy one another. That's right. Read on. Therefore, love is the feeling of the law. So that love is if we just simply love one another, true love, not the, the love that this world taught us, then it'll fulfill the laws. We won't have to worry about black on black crime. We won't have to worry about watching for our life or brother trying to rob us. We won't have to worry about none of this. You know, we gotta know what type of we gotta know what type of people we are. And the reason why is we are breaking God's commandments. Give me, give me Exodus 20 and um eight. Bring it out. Cause everybody, we come, everybody see us on this corner every Sabbath, and they won't come up here ask questions. And when they do ask questions, they 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 don't want they don't really want the answer that God got for them. Right. Read the Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So he said, remember the Sabbath day. Everybody that's, that's, that we see out here is not keeping the Sabbath day holy. You're not keeping the Sabbath day holy. Read on. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the Sabbath day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So God gave you six days to do everything you needed to do before the Sabbath approached. That's right. Because you, that's, the Sabbath is his day. Give me Isaiah 58 and 13. Okay. That's his day. We think, we take it, we take this day and we do our pleasure on this day. That's right. We go into the pawn shop and buy what we want to buy. We go, we go buy what food we want to buy, go to churches and shop with them, spend our money on the Lord's Sabbath day. And we, we break God's Sabbath day and we take it as if it was our Sabbath day or all day period. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 13. Get out. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. So since you touch your foot away from the Sabbath, read on. From doing the pleasure on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight. Because that's what our people do. Our people call the Sabbath day a delight. The, ho the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. So that's what all people do. We find our pleasure, we do what we want to do on the Sabbath day, right. and, and we disregard to keep the day holy. That's right. So we're going to go to, um, give me Exodus 35 and 3. Another thing that we do, another law that we break. Without a conscious mindset to say, hey, we doing something wrong. We got, this is, this, this Memphis is the Bible Belt. We got more churches than any state. And why is it so much crime? You got a, you got a church just about on every block. So that, that's, that should tell you that the churches for once ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. Read that. The book of Exodus. Chapter 35 and verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So today is the Sabbath day. This is the day that you don't supposed to cook anything. That's right. You're supposed to eat cold food. And I'm not talking about a bologna sandwich. So this, this, this is one of the laws that our people break unconsciously and they, they don't understand why we're in the conditions that we in. Read it from the top again. The book of Exodus, chapter 35 and verse 3. Bring it out, huh? Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. 
Give me extra 16 and 22. To let you know, they talking about the same thing. God don't change. I don't know why the Christian pastors have y'all thinking that God changed. That's right. The book of Exodus, chapter 16 and verse 23. Read. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So he said, Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. That's Friday. Read. Bake that which you will bake today, and see if that ye will see, will see it. And that which remains over lay up for you to keep until until the morning. So Friday before sundown, you're supposed to bake what you're going to bake for today. That's the right. Lord's Sabbath day. And what else? And keep until the morning. That's it. And, you, and you're supposed to keep that until today. So that's another thing that we, we don't know that we're breaking. And that's why it's important for you all to come out here to ask questions so you'll know what to refrain from doing. That's because right. our mindset and our knowledge of knowing anything come from our oppressor. That's right. And you don't, you don't understand. You don't understand what, what um, sin you in. Give me Sirach 33 and 19. Man. You don't know what type of sin you in. And then when you do come out here and get the question, and it, it, I mean the answer to your question, and it don't meet up to what you want, then you walk off like we did something wrong. That's like we right. like we didn't give you the answer that you need. When we only giving you what the most high God wants you to have. That's right. Read. Yeah, 33 and 9. The book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 9. Bring it out. Some of them hath he made high days and ho and hollowed them. And some of them has he made ordinary days. So some of the days that we have are ordinary days. And some days that God made, which he, 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 he um, today, he hollowed it. This is a, the, the Lord's Sabbath day. That's why he said this is his day. Read the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and, and verse, study one, verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. And on the seventh day. On what day? On the seventh day. No, on Sunday. On the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rest on the seventh day for all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. Hold on, what day did God rest on? And he rested on the Sabbath day. So even God himself rested on the Sabbath day. God, That's right. The most high God ain't going to have you doing something. He ain't doing it. Read on. And he rested on the Sabbath day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. Because that in it, in it he had rested from all his work, which God created, created and made. So God blessed that day and sanctified it. He didn't bless no other day and sanctify it but the Sabbath day. So that, and that's, that's God day. So you got to understand, when we, when we telling you to keep the Lord's Sabbath day holy, it's a certain way, it's a certain way you have to keep the Lord day holy. You can't buy, you can't sell, and you must do something else. So the reason why we're in these conditions is because we're not following through on keeping God's commandments the way He wanted. He want us to be. He want us to keep. We want to. We want to do what we want to do. Read Leviticus chapter 23, uh, 23 and verse two. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim in this holy convocation. Even these are, are the feasts. Read it again. Read it from the top. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, 23, and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. He said, Speak unto the children of Israel. He said, Speak unto the children of Israel and tell them what? And say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which he shall proclaim in his holy covenant. To be a holy convocation, even even these are feasts. Uh, Verse three: Six days shall work be done, 
But the seventh day is the seventh of the a Sabbath of rest. So in on the Sabbath day, we supposed to have we supposed to keep his Sabbath day a holy convocation, coming That's together right. in holiness and keeping God's laws. So you hey, excuse me, brother. Can I talk to you for a minute? Just a quick minute of your time. You really ain't talking to me. We we talking about the Bible. So you, do you? I already know about it. You already know. You know everything that's in the Bible. I know it. You do? Give me. Uh, you no know beer too. Uh, we're gonna see. We go. We gonna see. Do you know this, sir? We're gonna see. Do you know this? Stick around. Since you said you know everything, read this. I'm gonna see if you know this. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Did you know we had to keep God's commandments? You got, you got to keep them. Are you keeping them? I keep them all. You keep them all the time. What commandments do you keep, sir? Speak. Come, come over here so we can speak. We can come on. You keep you? Yes. And that's what's wrong with our people. He said he keep God's commandments. He keep him. Our people take the Lord's Sabbath day as a delight to do their pleasure. And he drunk as hell. He staggering to us of he keeping God's commandment. And don't know the first commandment. Yeah, you drunk as hell. But you keeping God's commandment. You should know that the, the Lord's Sabbath day is today, brother. So give me, give me um First Corinthians five and ten, cause our people thank God something to play with. That's right. Uh, that's that's what's wrong with our people. They 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 let Christianity water the true God of this Bible down to a homosexual to that to that guy right there. That's what the Christian Church did. Read, read, out. read. the book of Amos chapter three and verse one. Bring it out. Hear this word that he, that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. So he's not speaking to the entire world. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So out of all the families of the earth, because a lot of people are always questioning us, well, what about the white man? What a, they, they always ask about the white man. They don't never ask about Ishmael, the Arab. They don't never um, ask about the Chinese. So he said, out of all the families on the face, face of the earth, read, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So he was going to punish Israel. What nation of people are being punished to this day? Bring it out. What nation of people that, that went, on, uh, went into slavery on cargo slave ships? What nation of people are being gunned down by the other nations? What nation of people are in poverty in every state, city, or town you go in. Read that from the top. Because you, you, if you feel like that, you don't meet these, you meet one of these qualifications. Amos 3 and 1. You meet one of these qualifications. Because he said he going to only punish you. We the only nation of people that are being punished, whether you see it or not. That's Read right. it from the top. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spake, spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God said, You only have I known. He don't know the other nation. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So he going to only punish us for our sins, our iniquities, us breaking the Sabbath day. Read on. Verse 3. Can two walk together except they except they be agreed? Can two people walk together in disagreement? If you think, hey, you think you should you you should take you should take one route to Bellevue and Macamore, and I think I should take another. Can we walk together? Read. So two people can't walk together. Two people, if you if you have a certain if you have a certain way of handling something versus me having a certain different way, we ain't gonna be in agreement. We ain't gonna we, if we ain't gonna walk together like the scripture said. Out, huh? Give me Romans 7 and 12. Because see, all people gotta understand one thing. They gotta understand, they gotta come back to God's law. You gotta understand how to do something good for a chance. Because we 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 always think 
good is evil and evil is good. But we're gonna tell we're gonna show you what's good in the Bible. Read the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandments holy and just and good. So the law and the commandments of God is just and good. That's what we have to come back to. It don't matter where you where, where you read at in this Bible, God gonna be dealing with one nation of people and telling them one thing. He gonna be dealing with the Israelites and telling them, keep my commandments. That's right. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter seven and verse two. Keep my commandments and live, and my laws as the apple of thy eye. Wherever you go in the Bible, it don't matter from front to back. He's going to be dealing with Israel, one nation of people, right. so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, and he's going to be telling you one thing. Keep his commandments like we just read. That's right. So when, the question is, when are people going to wake up and understand that they Israel, and when are they going to start coming back to keep God laws. That's the thing. So go to give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. Because for us not obeying God's commandments, he did some he did something to us. That he didn't do. Remember, he said, therefore I will punish you out of all the families of the earth. He was gonna punish us. Let's see what happened to us. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out! But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen to the voice of the Lord your God, read, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. To, to observe and do what? All these commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So this Bible is repetitive. Everything you hear is going to be about the commandments, the commandments of God, his statutes, his laws. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if you didn't want to listen to God and do what he said do, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, that these curses are going to come on us. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So it says, Cursed shall thou be in the city. In the city of Memphis, Tennessee. What nation of people populate the poorest area? We go to the poorest area of Memphis. And on every side, north, west, east, south Memphis, we at all the poorest area. We at all the projects. That's we right. know for a fact who populate the poorest areas in um, the city of Memphis. In any city. Read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall thou be in the field. When we got off those, off, off, um, when we came over here by cargo slave ship, and we got off those, um, off those slave ships, and was and was auctioned off to a certain plantation to work the field, we was cursed in them fields. We were cursed in the cotton fields, the tobacco um, plantation, the orange, um, the orange plantation That's to right. do all the work. Only us. Like God said, give me verse 32. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and our daughters was given unto another people. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.